Nice, it floats. Hey guys, Vin from The Bear Gentleman. Today we're going to be looking at this Yodo portable wireless speaker. Okay. Okay, not bad. Charging cable inside the box with the literature, and they give you an aux cord too, which I can't use because I got the nose pen. Brownie face for that. All right, so this is the Yodo S1. So the main features of this is that it's Bluetooth 4.2. It supports auxiliary in. It supports SD card supporting MP3s, WAV, WMA. FLAC, APE music formats, and can support up to 32 gigs. Um, it has a built-in antenna for FM radio, and you can go ahead and charge it with a micro USB. And it is water resistant. It's rated IPX6. Okay, and it supports true wireless stereo. Um, so what that means is if you have two of these same speakers, you'll play music out of both the speakers at the same time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is connect it to my Bluetooth. Let me turn this guy off. Okay, so that's your power button. Power on. Okay. Bluetooth mode. I think that's the first time I've heard a guy do the Bluetooth voice. All right. All right, going to hook it up to my S10 here. Shows up as Yeto S1. Device paired. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, it does a little dip. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to compare this uh, CE Tech one to this Yodo one just to kind of see like because I think like the biggest perk of this is that it's really loud and it's rugged and stuff so like you know you can drop it you can uh, get it wet and stuff it won't mind uh, so let me go ahead and let's let's try let's try this one and then we'll put it over to this one and that's as loud as this one gets. So now I'm going to pass it over. Definitely better on this guy. And now we're going to put it back to this guy. This is as loud as this one gets. Okay, all right. So um, this one was from CE Tech. Also not bad. Uh, when I got it, like I thought it was pretty good. Um, this one though, so the review is mainly about this guy over here, and the reason I went ahead and I uh, tested it out with the other one was to make sure, like, to kind of like get a sense of like the sound quality. I don't really go out buying uh, too many wireless speakers. Overall, like for 40 bucks as a wireless speaker, it's super loud, um, it sounds pretty good, like it's very clear. Um, the only thing I notice is it does like a little bit of a hissing kind of thing, like, you know, like old school like speakers, like back in the day, like whenever you disconnect from Bluetooth. So not when you disconnect from Bluetooth, but like when there's like, you know, the end of a song. Uh, but other than that, like, I mean, it's pretty solid. So what I want to do here is I'm going to drop some water on this guy and we're going to see how waterproof it is. Alrighty, so we're going to dump the speaker in. Well, first we're just going to get it a little bit wet. All right. All 
All right, let's see how it sounds now. Still pretty good. That's actually kind of funny, so it's playing underneath. It's actually quite interesting because in my experience, whenever something goes like underwater, like if uh, I put this watch underwater, it'll go ahead and it'll disconnect from the Bluetooth, but this guy didn't. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, overall, I'm pretty happy with it for 40 bucks. It's not that bad, um, especially as like the waterproofing thing. That's pretty cool. To be fair though, I've never had a waterproof uh, little speaker like this. I mean, I can definitely see it coming in handy. Like I said, like, so if you, like on a boat or whatever, you drop it in the water, it falls down, you're at a pool party, it falls in, um, you leave it outside when it's raining, you you know, anything like that. I mean, it's pretty solid, man. Like, I'm actually very surprised with this thing and super impressed for 40 bucks. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down in the description.